Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. You know, Dale, I'll sure be glad when we get this fence up. Yeah, it'll put an end to all those strays you've been losing. A little farther to the right, Pat. What's the matter with him? He doesn't seem to know right from left. I can't seem to keep him in line. Hey, Pat! Don't you know right from left? Draw a rock! Oh, he's falling! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hi, bullet old pal. Uh, hey, did you push me off of there? Hey, Pat, are you all right? Yeah, he's all right. But what's the matter with bullet? Look, somebody's fighting over there. Yeah. You get Nella go and pick up Pat. I'll ride down there and see what's going on. Who is he, Roy? Mr. Conway. Give me that canteen, Pat. Is he hurt bad? I don't know. There were two of them. They gave him an awful beating. Oh. Who did this to you, Mr. Conway? Eh? Hey? Well, who are you and what are you doing here? We're friends, Mr. Conway. It's Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. And me oh. too, Pat Brady. Oh, of course. Of course. Why did they beat you up, and who were they? I, I didn't know them. They took my gold samples, and they wanted to know where I got them, but I wouldn't tell them. No, sir, I wouldn't tell them. Well, you'd know them if you were to see them again. You'd be able to identify them, wouldn't you? Of course I would, of course I would, but why can't I see you? It ain't night already, is it? I have been lying here all this time. Oh, why don't someone make a light? Uh, I never saw it so dark before. Maybe it's just temporary. We'll get you on back to town, Mr. Conway. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Good morning, Doc. Morning. Hi, Doc. Hi, Roy. Hey, where's Bullet? I haven't seen him with you lately. Oh, I loaned him to Matt Conway. He's learning to be a C and I don't. Yeah, I was going to ask old Matt over to my place. 
until some better arrangements could be made for his care. Oh, you know he'd never stand for that kind of charity. Old Matt's made his own way alone too long. He even thinks he's going to pay us for what little we've done. He's made a big gold strike, haven't you heard? Oh, yeah. There hasn't been any gold found in these parts over 20 years. We know that. But if thinking otherwise will help old Matt to get well, it'll be worth it. And with Bullet's help, he'll get along fine. Now, if there's anything I can do, you let me know. Thanks. out of the door. You run to his side to let him know that you're there to help him off the porch. Is that it? All right, now. We'll try it. Now, I'm going to be old man. All right, now, bullet. Here comes old man. Help him off the porch. Here we go, now. That's a good boy. Nice boy. Doing fine. What did you say, Pat? Oh, oh nothing, Matt. I, I, I was just saying that you and Bullet are learning to get around swell. You're darn tootin' we are. Me and Bullet's got to start trumping the trails. Well, I'll be a sunburned heifer. You mean you and Bullet want to start looking for your diggings already? Yes, indeed, or them dry gulchers will get there before me. It's on far from there that they hijack my bag of gold. Come on, Bullet. Let's start going. I suspected. Old Matt made a big strike. This ore comes from a rich vein. Well, if he has, he's sure got it well hidden. Bull and I couldn't find it. Stop looking for it. Old Matt himself's gonna lead you to that mine. That is, when Bullet learns to lead old Matt. Well, what's to stop Rogers or one of his pals from going along with him? Oh, they're not gonna do that. They're too interested in humoring the old man. See, he wants to be independent. Well, what if they find out what we know? What if he tells them? They'll be polite. They'll listen. You mean they think the old man's cracked? No, they think he's living in an old prospector's dream. And it's just as good they keep on thinking that. Now, you take the back way out, Abilene. This is where we turn off, Bullet. I, I, I'm middling sure of it. Hello, boy, Matt. You're doing fine. Ah, hello, Mr. Roy. Well, I think it's about time you got back. I have your lunch ready. Thank you, Miss Dale. I really worked me up an appetite. <laughs> he and Bullet can sure find their way around in these hills now. Well, good for you, Matt. Thank you. Here you are, Matt. Just sit down right over here. Mm. Make yourself nice and comfortable. Oh, thank you. There you are. Bullet, where are my slippers? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a boy. That's a boy. Roy. I, I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank you good folks for all you've done for me. Forget it, Matt. You don't need to. No, you better hear me out. You know, I got me a rich gold mine. I ain't gonna say anything about it now, but someday I'm gonna leave that mine to you, Mr. Roy, and you, Miss Dale, and to Mr. Pat, too. Oh, Matt, we won't even talk about that. You just put those slippers on and you relax. And Roy and I'll be right back. Thank you, Miss Dale. How's he doing? He's getting along fine. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you make him promise to stay away from that cliff trail? Well, I tried, but he still claims he's got a mine on the other side. And he's bound and determined he's going to find it alone. Roy, we can't let him go alone. I don't intend to, until I'm sure he can navigate that trail without getting hurt. Well, you'll have to be careful. We mustn't let him think we're trying to spy on him. You're right. I'll see to that.
Looks like he's using the dog to lead him to his mine. Yeah, Doc Harrington was right. You keep my back trail covered. I'm going to see where the old man goes. So bad. You're going to be all right, which is a lot more than you deserve. Get on your horse. done to you. Matt. Where's Matt? Yeah, well, they got a pretty bad blow on the head. There's a concussion, but I think he'll eventually be all right. Do you have any idea how soon? Well, oh, that's hard to say. You leave him with me. I'll take good care of him. I know you will, Doc. So you caught one of the two men who were after Matt Conway, huh? Yeah, and I brought him in and turned him over to the sheriff. Know who he is? No, I never seen him before. Has he talked? No, oh, he's wounded pretty bad. They've got him in the emergency hospital. Oh, no, Matt Conway is dead, huh? I'll and... check with you later, Doc. Yeah, don't worry about Bullet Roy. I'll take care of him like he was my very own. Thanks. That's just our luck. The old man was on his way to the mine with that dog, I'm sure of it, when he had to fall over that cliff and kill himself. Well, you were fools to take the chance you did. At least we've got Bullet. Yeah, he's a killer. You ought to put him out of the way. Rogers would never know the difference. Don't be stupid all of your life, Abilene. That dog's gonna lead us to the mine. He'll kill you. You can't control him. I can control him. I've known him since he was a pup. Well, all right, but I don't like it. And if he jumps me again, I'm gonna let him have it for keeps this time. You don't have to be around when I bring him out of it. Why don't you get over to Matt's shack? Yeah, I guess we will have to start from there. Yeah, take an extra horse with you. I'll meet you there. Meantime, I got something else to tend to. What are you gonna do with that thing? 
That's for your partner, Bull. He's still alive and he might be persuaded to talk. You can't get away with that. Don't worry, I'll handle it. No one will suspect a thing. Okay, Doc, you're the boss. Matt fell to his death, but the way it happened, he might just as well have been pushed. In my book, it's murder. Poor old guy was just like a kid. With Bullet there to help him, he got along fine. I wonder if he had any folks. Oh, he must have, back east or someplace. They ought to be notified. Where are you going? I'm going to ride out there and see if I can find a letter or something. That might not be a bad idea. Don't you worry about Bullet. Doc Harrington will pull him through. That's right. Old Doc, he's, he's the salt of the earth. Pat will stick around town and check with him later. She's on a lead and still groggy. Just the same, I ain't taking any chances. Come on, open up. Now take it easy. Now open it yourself. tried to kill me. Oh, you must be the one that hurt Bullock. The one that's responsible for what happened to poor old Matt Conway. I'm not going to hang alone, Doc. I'm sorry, Miss Dale. What is this? He won't be back for a couple of hours. Let's try the back door. Sort of against the law? Well, Pat, Doc Carrington won't mind. He's probably out on the call. I want to see how Bullet is. Bullet? Bullet? Well, he's gone. Sure looks like it. Hey, Roy. Ore samples. What's Doc Carrington doing with ore samples? I didn't know he was prospecting. He isn't. You know, Pat, old Matt said those two men who attacked him the first time took his bag of ore samples away from him. We thought he was still out of his head, remember? Yeah, we figured they bushwhacked him just for his pocket money. This was beginning to add up to something. Oh, it can't be Doc Harrington. He's not in on this. Listen, I'm going to question that killer I brought in, no matter how seriously he's wounded. If the girl's lying and can't lead us to the mine, we can almost come back and get the dog. Bullet! Get right! Get right, Bullet! Shut up! Take it easy, Emily. That dog's locked up and tied in. He can't get the Rogers. I'm going to make sure of that. Give me the key. Go on, Doc. Give it to him. It'll look pretty bad for you, though, when Roy finds out his dog has been shot. She's right, Evelina. Rogers left that dog in my care. If he's found shot to death, it'll tie me right in with this deal. Maybe you're right. Go get her horse. <laughs>
Pardon me, miss, but I'd like to ask the patient a few questions. But he can't talk. He's dead. What? When? I just discovered it. He was all right a while ago. I can't understand it. Where's the doc? I called him. He's on his way. Thanks. Hey, hey, what's the rush? What's on your mind? Plenty. Dale, Bullet, Doc Harrington, a sack of stolen ore, and a man who just died very mysteriously. <laughs> Not so fast, Roy. I'm all discombobulated. Look, Pat, that stack of ore in Harrington's office links him with the killer. And he could be using Bullet to lead him to that lost money. Well, what's all this got to do with what we saw in there? I'll explain later. Dale headed for Conway's shack. Let's just hope she hasn't met up with that killer. See you, Bullet, but calm down. Take it easy. Hey, you don't suppose Dale sent Bullet to get us? That's what we're going to find out. Well, wait. That's not the way to Matt's cabin. Bullet's headed for Maverick Valley. Well, the trail from Matt's cabin to his mine runs through Maverick Valley. Come on. <laughs> this fine. It's about four miles up that ravine, and it gets rougher, too rough to ride. Uh, we'll leave the horses here and go the rest of the way on foot. This better be on the level, sister. That's all I got to say. Pat, we better leave Nellie Bell and Trigger here so we can sneak up on them. Where's the escalator? It's Dale and Doc's with her. Let's go get him. Wait a minute, not so fast. Can't take a chance on Dale getting hurt. We'll have to surprise him. Listen, Pat, you stay here with Bullet. I'll slip over behind those boulders and jump when they come by. What's the matter? I heard a dog barking. Out here? Oh, you're crazy. Get going. taking them to Matt Conway's mine. But you don't know where that mine is. Neither did Bullet. But I couldn't tell Doc that. I had to send Bullet to get you and Pat. Hey, where is Pat? Where are you? Bullet! 
Happy trails to you, keep smiling until then, happy trails.